Welcome back, everybody. We are overhead of breaking news in downtown Los Angeles, a commercial building fire. We are understanding that this is a commercial T-shirt warehouse. Let's get down to Gigi Graciette, who's on the ground for us with some perspective on the very latest. Good morning. Good morning, and we're going to start off with the fact that L.A. City Fire arson investigators are now here on the scene. Of course, it's much too early to go into the building, which continues to burn. You can see that thick smoke. It's a mixture of black smoke because it just hit some fresh fuel. And by fuel, we're talking about textiles, which were stacked up to the ceiling, we understand. Again, this is a T-shirt distributor and manufacturing business, a, a wholesale business. And I've just got to tell you, I'm not not going to pan over to her, but the owner is here. She's with a man who appears to be her husband. He's continuously just hugging her. It is heartbreaking to watch your life's work literally and figuratively just go up in smoke. So she's here. She's been watching everything closely. She's also met with some of the incident commanders, giving them some critical information about exactly what materials are stored in Maine Sports World Incorporated. Again, Again, this is on Main Street and 14th. Main is shut down. If this is part of your morning commute through the Fashion District, you're going to want to find an alternate route. And if you're seeing smoke and you're actually miles away from here, that's understandable. There is a slight breeze, a slight wind that continues to push this smoke, which is visible for miles away. Now, this fire started at 5.09 this morning. And we have to tell you, you know, every fire has what's called an incident command. The person in charge who's overseeing everything and everyone. And he made a very critical decision early on in this fire, and that was to pull all firefighters out of the building and especially off the roof. Moments after he did that, most of the roof collapsed. Now, is it about 80 to 90 percent? We imagine right now, if we want to take our aerial shot because we have Sky Fox above it all and also Stu Mandel, uh, we imagine most of the roof has now collapsed. And that was such an important call, uh, saving lives. And that's what the incident commander is here to do. And just a wonderful call. That's when they went into defensive mode. And that means fighting the fire from the outside. And even though this building appears to be a total loss, they've done a great job because right now it appears that the surrounding buildings have been saved. Now, I don't know if we have Stu Mandel. And Stu, you can give us your perspective because you've got a great view of how big this fire is and how intense it continues to be. That's right, and that fire has basically made its way all the way from the front, from Main, all the way to the back of the building here in the alleyway. That last of that roof collapsing just moments ago. L.A. City Fire Department, you can see them there on scene. Gigi called it. This is structure protection, and this is also how they're battling the flames the best and the safest way they can. They're on this adjacent building right there, and there's hose lines. You can see them, and they're dumping a lot of water down there onto those flames. This is the building that we've been talking about, and keeping this building safe, that's what's going on right here. Fire Department, L.A. City Fire, just making an aggressive entry into that back door just moments ago using saws to get in there. Now, they're going to check that building, make sure that those walls, those walls that are being shared by those two buildings, is going to be cool, and there's nothing starting to catch fire inside that building as well. That's part of that whole structure protection. Again, though, you can see a lot of heavy smoke right now, a lot less flames, and it's one of those plus and minus type of things. That fire, that roof completely gone now, and the, but that makes it... Uh, available for the fire department to put a lot of water on uh, what is burning under that roof and that's what's happening right now and again uh, uh, can imagine with Gigi down there and that human aspect talking to those the owners or being just by there and watching them it being so emotional it must be very difficult but as far as the firefighters go we're not hearing any injuries at all that is amazing that LA City Fire Department working so hard and working so much water on this no injuries to firefighters and of course no injuries to civilians but this fire Fire continues to burn. Yeah. Back to y'all in the studio. Yes, to make no no mistake about it, lives were saved because of the critical call from from the fire crews out mm -hmm. there. And hats off to the bravery of those firefighters and the work that it takes to extinguish and, and get control over a commercial fire that's this size. It is unbelievable. That's, it's so much more than just pumping a hose on the flames. There's the strategy. There's the protection of the structure, the building, being mindful of the integrity of the buildings. 
So it really is such a strategic effort. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, we're, we're going to stay on this for you, and we're going to check in with Sue and Gigi in just a little bit.